Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to use the on double click event. We're going to do two separate examples. In the first example, it's going to be just like the on click event from yesterday's video. In that video, we made a little button and then a little label so we can click on that and the on click event would increase a date field. It would add one day to it. In this video, we're gonna do the same thing, but we'll use the on double click event. So instead of having to add a button or a label, we'll just double click on the field itself to add a day to it. Then I'll show you how to use the same event, the on double click event on the customer list form. So we can double click on their ID and open up their customer form. All of that in today's video. Today's question comes from Anderson from Buffalo, New York. Same as yesterday's question. And the only reason I'm doing this back-to-back -back questions for the same guy is because A, he's a Platinum member, and Platinum members get away with a lot, and B, he's from Buffalo, New York, my old hometown. But Anderson says, I watched your on-click event video. It was awesome. Thank you. Exactly what I asked for. Is there a way you can do the same thing with a double-click? This way I don't need the labels which take up precious space. And Anderson actually sent me a screenshot of his form. He's got a million different text boxes and buttons and controls all crammed into a tiny little... I told him, I said, you got to break that up into multiple forms, but he's happy with what he has. So he wants to know if there's a way he could just double-click on that date field and increase that date value. So this is the database from yesterday's video, the on-click event. And in that video, we made these little buttons here, plus and minus, okay? And we assign those to the on-click event of these labels. All right, right there, on-click event. Now, if you haven't watched that video, go watch that video. And gold members, you can download this template if you want to. It'll be right on the website. So what Anderson wants to do is, instead of having to click on these labels, which take up precious space, he wants to just be able to double-click on customer sense. Now, let's review what these guys do. Click on that, go to dot, 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 all right? All those do is say customer sense equals customer sense plus one. So let's copy that. And let's find the on double click event of the customer sense box. Okay, so go there, go to the events tab, find on DBL click, on double click. All right, dot, dot, dot. Now we're in the customer sense double click event. Okay. Paste. That's it. Customer sense equals customer sense plus one. Now, what I like to do for anything with a double click event in it to signal the user that you can do some stuff is I like to format it. I make mine blue, like a light blue like that. This just visually tells the user, hey, if you click on this field, something's going to happen. What? Well, you could use a control tip if you want to, right? Come in here. Go to where is it under all control tip text, right? Double click to increase or uh, increase increment increment date like that that's a control tip text that's what happens when you hover over a field right hover over that see double click the increment date and now double click double click double click double click see that and now we can get rid of those labels that are taking up precious space yeah anderson's a long time customer so i can mess with them a little bit <laughs> Now, one thing that I also like to do with this ability to double click on stuff is I like to use it to open up other records. For example, let's save this, okay? Now, in this template, you can see here the ID field is blue, okay? This is the Tech Help free template. I started off with a blank template, which had the customers in it, okay? Then I added, I added this customer list form. Then I added contacts, so there's contacts in here too. Then after this, I even added uh, invoicing, which, where's the invoicing button? I think it's under here. Uh, yeah, orders. It's got invoicing. So you can get all this. is all free. It's all on my website. Download this template if you want to. Everybody can download it, not just gold members. All right. Somewhere along the line, I added this on double click event here, and I never recorded it. I can't find the video that I recorded it. I'm going to give a bonus. If anyone can find the other video where I added that to the templates, send me the video link <laughs> and the time index, and you'll get a free month of silver membership on me. I can't, I, I tried to find it. So I wanted to make sure I included it in this video too. 
Okay, if you go into design view on the customer list, this is a continuous form. Again, if you've never done continuous forms before, I've got videos for that. I'll put a link down on the, the section below. It's basically, it's the, uh, the, the, the blank customer template video. Okay, but again, it's the customer ID. Double click on that. Go to events. There's the on double click is right here. All right, now what is this? Well, there's two lines of code in here. Okay. It says, if is null customer ID, then exit sub. That means if I'm on the blank new record down here, let me show you. If I'm on the blank new record down here where it says new, if you double click, nothing happens. Okay, that's what if is null customer ID means. Okay, the second line is do command dot open form. And I've got videos on open form if you've never used that before. It basically opens another form. Customer F is the form name. Okay. Comma, 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 those are some parameters we don't need to worry about right now. I cover those in my full classes, but for this example, we don't need those. All we need to worry about is this guy here, the where condition. All right, see the where condition? It says customer ID equals customer ID, and it concatenates those together. If you don't know what string concatenation is, it's where you put two strings together. This is technically a string and a number, but it's the same thing. Okay, I have videos on concatenation too. Go watch that. This just says, take the current customer ID on this form, whatever number you happen to be on, slap it in there with customer ID equals and send it to open form. So it's going to be open form customer F where customer ID equals three or six or whatever number I happen to be on. So there's three, double click, boom. See, it sends a three in there and it opens up that form. So that's the on double click event. Real easy to do. The command button which is up here in the command button tools, right? That'll open up this one, but that's a little hard for some users to remember to click on a customer, then click on open form. Okay. It's easier to just make this a double click event right there. And you can extend that if you want to, you can put that in all of these fields so they can double click here and it opens up that. Here, let me show you design view. Let's make it so they can click on last name. All right. And I like to make it blue, right? That's just my thing. Uh, is it that color blue? That's close enough, right? It's a little bit different, I think. But anyways, last name, event, on double click, right there. And we can basically just copy this code. Copy, and then paste like that. It's the same thing. Open the customer form, where the customer ID equals the current customer ID. All right. Open the customer list. Double click on Picard. Boom. There you go. It's that easy. And that is what I forgot to put in the template videos. So now I can add this one to the list. <laughs> Learn more about the on double click event in my Access Developer 4 class. I'll put a link to that down below. Want to learn more about the on double click event in the extended cut for the members? I'm going to show you how to prevent accidental double clicks. You probably had this happen before. You got a button, no matter what it does, right? You want it to do one thing. But your users sometimes double click on it. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Don't blame the users for everything, right? So what I'll do is I'll show you how to make it so your on click event runs, but it only runs once. And if they accidentally double click on it, like a delete, for example, it won't run it twice and delete two records or add two days to the customer sense. Okay. And of course, for the delete, I'll show you how to add a pop up message box that says, are you sure? And if they don't say yes, it exits out. But preventing that accidental double click is the main focus of the extended cut for members. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full length courses found on my website and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. 
Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.